All right, in this video I want to talk about the ideal gas law, which uh, there's a really good intuitive uh, video at KhanAcademy.org under the chemistry playlist that kind of gives a really good in-depth uh, explanation of how this kind of comes together. But basically, the ideal gas law is the culmination of all the other uh, gas laws that are out there. So like Avogadro's, uh, Boyle's, um, Gay-Lussac's, Charles, all those coming together uh, is an ideal gas law, uh, uses the ideal gas law. And the formula for it is PV equals NRT, or pervnert. Um, so that's kind of a quirky way to remember it. And you can tell that, it's, uh, that a word problem is going to be an ideal gas law because when you look in it, it'll only have uh, one of everything. It'll only have, you see there's only one set of moles there, uh, one value for volume, uh, temperature, you know, pressure's not in here, it's asking us for pressure, but um, there'll if it has pressure, there'll only be one pressure example. So that's how you know you need to use this formula here. Basically, the, the P stands for pressure, uh, volume stands for, or V stands for volume, N stands for moles, just like in Avogadro's law. The R is actually a constant we'll talk about here in just a second, and the T is temperature. So you add those values in and solve for the unknown uh, that way. Let's talk for just a second here about um, this R here, which is the constant. And this is where watching Sal's video uh, at Khan Academy is really going to give you a heads up against everyone else in your chemistry class. Um, because you'll really have a good understanding of what that really means. But basically, uh, R is 1 atm times 22.4 liters over 1 mole times 273 degrees Kelvin. Uh, when you do those things, it's going to equal uh, 0, 0.0, <coughs> pardon me, 8 to 1 uh, liters times ATM to keep our unit straight over moles times Kelvin. Uh, so that's going to be our constant that will go in right there whenever we do our problem. So that's kind of where the background of all this comes. Um, I won't leave it up there. Um, I, if you want to learn more about it, I suggest going to his website uh, and checking that out. In this video, we're just going to solve the problems using dimensional analysis. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, we have our volume, which I'll do this uh, in blue, is zero. Well, we have pressure. We're solving for pressure, right? Our volume is zero point three five zero oh, I'm sorry that's our moles what am I doing our volume is five liters so we have our pressure volume is five liters equals in for our moles we'll do this in orange maybe orange so our moles which is zero crazy zero. Zero point three five zero moles <clears throat> times our constant which is R and let's do that and maybe we'll do that in green which is zero point eight or I'm sorry zero point zero eight two one ATM liters ATM over moles Kelvin moles times Kelvin a little dot there's a multiplication dot okay times our temperature and let's do the temperature um, maybe in a purple so this was our temperature only problem is it's in Celsius if you remember, just like all the other gas laws, our temperature needs to be in Kelvin. So 22 degrees Celsius plus 273 
equals 295 degrees Kelvin. Degrees Kelvin. All right, so P is our unknown. So all we're basically going to do in this problem here is solve for our unknown. So we're going to take uh, 5 liters here, divide both sides by it. This is going to cancel out. We're going to be left with P equaling all that divided by 5 liters. So let's grab our calculator and do this problem. We've got 0 0.350 times 0 0.0821 times 295 divided by 5 equals 1.695. So we've got 1.695. Okay, and 1.695 what? Well, we've got liters here that are going to cancel out with our constant. Uh, we've got Kelvin here that's going to cancel out with our constant. We've got moles here that's going to cancel out with moles there. So we're left with ATM. So it's 1.695 ATM. And we've got four significant figures here. Uh, we've got, what, two there, two there, um, three there. So we really just need two significant figures uh, in our problem here. So 1.695 is really going to be equal to 1.7 ATM. And that would be our final answer. This is using Pervnert or ideal gas law. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.